I think one of the reasons why my mind gets so confused sometimes is because I have a certain way of doing things. Like, for example, I was just sorting a bunch of stuff. I have two boxes. I have two boxes above my chair that I use to just stick stuff in, and then I grab it. I grab it with my cane. I'll show you how I do it. The J-Man will show you how I do it. And then I just grab this box. And so, why am I chewing gum? How am I supposed to shoot a video if I'm chewing gum? I have those two boxes that I store stuff in. The problem is, is sometimes like when I get confused, when deep down, like internally, I get confused. It's because in my mind, I'll be like, okay, get one of those black plastic trays from the kitchen. And I'm trying to sort out those boxes, right? I'm waiting for a girl to call me back. So I'm just, I'm just like, just waiting. I'm just like trying to organize some stuff. I don't want to like burn time. But anyway, I'm like, okay, get a black plastic tray to put this stuff in. But then I'm like, but then I'm like, okay, well, I can just stick this stuff in this bowl. I can just stick this stuff in this bowl. Oh. I can just stick that stuff in the bowl and pop it up there. And so I think the reason why my mind gets confused is sometimes it's like sometimes I'm using a set system to organize my stuff and then others it's like it's like wait a minute. I call it it's almost like free thinking. It's like wait a minute. Can can you snap out of the system and just use your head and be like wait a minute. I can just I can just stick it in here. The only reason why it makes me nervous sometimes to do that though is because it's like like I have I found set ways of doing things. But that's not always that doesn't always mean that like that's the best way to do things though, you know? But free thinking is like I don't know, it it it's weird sometimes. Like let me let me throw this up here. said that dude I've always said that if you just forget about shooting the video and you just and you just do this you you discover you discover more stuff It is 1.29 in the morning. I just went to the bathroom at 1.13. So I've been sitting for 16 minutes. So I'm, pr I'm in pretty good shape right now. Anytime I start getting over 20 minutes, I, start, I, I run into trouble. You know how like you're waiting for somebody to call you back and you're like, okay, you're like, okay, are they going to call me back? Like, or am I just going to be waiting around? Like, it's like, you got to get busy doing your thing, but it's like, it's like, okay, are, are you, are you calling me back today? Are you calling me back tonight? Or are we going to rendezvous another time?
Anyway, I think the reason why I get confused is because there's just set ways of doing things, and then and then it's like okay, and then I just all right, all right. I'm I'm tired. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of sharing that. Uh, yeah, I'm tired of sharing that. Anyway, I'm watching this video. Sometimes when I tell myself, look, get away from the laptop, get away from the computer, and then all of a sudden I find, I find a lot of other things that I can focus on improving. I, th I think I've, I've just been so focused on the laptop and, and my, my YouTube channel that it's like, it's like, wait a minute, it's just like, there's all sorts of different things that you can work on. I love I love tweaking things. I love like I've always liked designing how to make things better. I've always, I've always loved it. like when I had my. I like watching some of my old videos because it definitely reminds me. It's like wait a minute. Like I'll watch something. I'll watch something in the video, and it'll be like, oh yeah, I need to take a break from my YouTube channel. Cause like I'll, I get I'll get so focused on it that I start feeling like absolute shit, you know. But I'm like, oh man, just just hang in there, keep keep doing this. Like it, it's it's exciting, it's super exciting, you know. But the thing is, is like, I just think I just I just push myself way too hard on it, to the point where I just start feeling like, like my mind starts screaming, screaming, and then I get weird. I get real, real weird. And you don't want to see me when I get weird. Because I get really, really weird. And girls don't like weird. No, they don't like weird. They like when you're a nice, respectable gentleman. Justin, please be a nice, respectable gentleman who treats them with respect. I don't know if women want respect anymore. That's not true. There's a whole bunch of women that that want respect. You know you know what I think too is like there's a lot of women that love a 70s man. I think that's why I used to do pretty well. I don't do very well now. No. No, 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 I don't. I don't. I'm I'm working on getting better. I'm working on, I've 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 been away from the dating scene for a while. But I do think there's a whole lot of women that, that missed the glory days of the seventies. And I'm aiming to bring that back for them. No, but I do think it is true. It's like I do think there's a lot of women that I think I don't know who I don't know who I don't know who's who did it if it was the media or the culture this this whole equality stuff I just think I think it has some men so confused and then the women are so confused and it's like just be a man just do it the way that you want to do it you know give a lady chivalry I see some of these guys sometimes and they're not walking outside of the curb to protect their woman and I'm just like how do you how do you how do you have a woman and I don't like like that's just that's mine that boggles my little mind it does it I'm just like man she must I don't know she must not be that bright to date a guy like that because that's just horrible chivalry horrible I say